Okay, uh, this is an interruption of my series on my magnet motor. I'm working on two projects at the same time. Uh, but I needed to make this vid here. Um, this one is working on a variation of the Tesla igniter patent. And what it does is I'm going to use a motor as a load. And normally in the patent, the load is a primary coil of very low ohms and short wire. Uh, but we're using these in series. Um, <coughs> we have our large reed switch, and you can see if it, if it was to fire there, it's going to push the magnet this way, and this one, and this one. So all coils are working on the motor at the same time. Um, and what it does is our battery, yellow and green, it comes around here green one is connected across this side of the cap and the yellow one is connected across this side of this coil and the other side of this coil is connected across the cap so the cap the coil and the battery are in series so there's no current flowing through this coil all right <coughs> there's 12 volts on this cap basically through the coil um, and what happens is when the reed closes, the reed is connected up here to this side of the cap, and then this side of the reed connects to our series of coils. I have them in series. I'm going to do different variations, but I tried series at first, and I wanted to make this vid on it. Um, so you can see it comes to that side of that coil, and then we got a red wire series, series, and we have a little gray wire that comes across the cap. So our circuit of the capacitor, the coil, and the battery in series, the reed uses these coils here as a conductor to short across the cap. That way the battery can put some current into this coil and build a field. Now when the reed releases, this field collapses and loads up the cap with a higher voltage. And then when the reed closes again, that high voltage is dumped into this coil for the motor. And while it's holding and dumping that cap for the motor, it's charging the magnetic field in here. So it's got like a dual function when it closes, um, charging this and discharging the cap in here at the same time. All right, um, I'm going to do different variations where this is actually going to be a transform. I did one with the ran an AC fan on the output, but uh, this is a little better. Um, this is a 22 microfarad cap at 100 volts. Um, I used Radio Shack wire here. Um, it was uh, the 30 gauge, I think it is. Just one roll of it, evenly spaced across there. So we're going to bring in the reed. We're just going to give it a little spin hear it. I'll turn off the light so you can see the green. It's a nice blue glow. It's not uh, the camera showing it more than I can see with the naked eye. Um, but it's not a damaging spark. <coughs> if I take the cap out, um, it will damage. So, if I have this reed just hooked up like a regular pulse motor to this battery, and these were in series, this reed would be having a hard time. Um, it would be big sparking, you know, I'd have to get rid of sparks and everything. But these are, uh, I think they're 0.9 ohms each. So now they're in series, so that's 27, 2.7 ohms. Um, actually, that's less than that. Let me see, 0 0.14 times 3. I, I have to do the measurements on them. I haven't measured these in a while. I forgot what they were. But uh, what we're doing, what the Tesla, what Tesla says in his patent, is that we can you charge this large inductor up with magnetic field. And this is 22 ohms. Um, this wire, and the time that we have 
the battery on this, we're going to be using less current than if we ran the pulse motor alone. And so you're saying you use less energy and by charging this cap and then dumping this cap in here and getting impulse. So it's working for a pulse motor here and it's doing okay. Um, it's not real fast or anything. Um, I'm going to try some different capacitors. I just tried this coil. I had tried this coil once before on a couple of things and I wasn't impressed. But here I gave it a shot on this one and, and she's running. Um, so that's good. I mean this is just a tiny little cap. You know, really, it's only big because it's 100 volts. Um, it's not too small, not too big. But I, I like it. It works nice. I had to solder some resistor leads onto this thin wire so I could poke it into the board. Um, I just put one little jumper down there so I could connect this lead for the battery. Because it's not going to be pulling too much current, so I just used the alligator leads. I wasn't really worried about that. Um, I need to try some different configurations with this to make it larger. Um, one of the key things that what I have to do after doing some experiments and getting it running and different things and then write down exactly you know which components did what and you know RPMs and different things. Then what I need to do is find out how much current it used within a certain amount of time. At, at which voltage is on the battery and then I need to run this as a pulse motor and it's going to run faster because this load is a lot smaller than this but it's going to draw so much current over so much period of time um, and we should be able to calculate you know uh, basic amount of energy used to spin the wheel um, but it's interesting uh, so far, uh, I have some other coils that I have to go. I went through a bunch of them. I, I got a little mess here um, with caps. Uh, this bulb I wasn't using for anything. That's my old board. I'm just trying some different things. I have some larger transformers and, and other inductors that I want to try. Um, but so far, the reed is holding up really well. Um, I think I only got eight of these left. <laughs> Because I burned them up on so many projects, you know, taking things to the limits. But uh, my next vids, I'll, I'll do some measurements on this before I take it apart to, you know, do some different uh, caps and different inductors. And we'll see what we got. But, so charging up that and it's being dumped into these low ohm coils 2.7 ohms and I, I think it's lower now I had to measure it again sorry but I know that it's 0.14 ohms in parallel I forgot what they were individually because I never really use them individually on uh, an important project um, but The cap is definitely keeping uh, the switch from going funky. I, I did this with a relay um, with the, uh, what was it, the AC induction fan on one of my recent videos. And it was really destroying the, uh, the contacts on the relay. And, but here, we're going to find. Um, this little blue glow is nothing to worry about. I can barely see it by eye and the camera is picking it up. So that, that read will last a while. When you get those big lightning, random looking sparks, that's bad. But anyway, just wanted to show this. Um, I've been telling some people that uh, I was going to do this for a while and finally got something that I, I thought was worth bidding. and. See you on my next vid. Thanks.